Hi, I'm Kaylee, and today I'm going to tell you how I read 200 books just about every year. Most years I read between 150 to 200 books, and so I'm going to get into my reading habits and tell you how I do it. But before I tell you how I read 200 books a year, I want to make sure that you know that Books for MKs is a charity that donates books to missionary kids. And today's MK shout out goes to Joey, who is six years old and lives with his parents as missionaries in Israel. Joey loves books about trains and volcanoes. That's very specific. I don't know why he loves books about volcanoes, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> Kids have weird interests, I don't know. <laughs> if you wanna to donate to Joey and children like him, you can donate to the Books for MKs charity at gofundme.com, and every donation is very much appreciated. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button and on the little bell so you can be notified every time that I post a new video. I came across a quote from one of my favorite authors, C.S. Lewis, that definitely describes the way that I think about reading. And I think this is really the key to reading a lot. The quote says, The great thing is to be always reading, but not to get bored. Treat it not like work, but like a vice. So if you think of it like, ha ha ha, guilty pleasure, reading, then you'll wanna read all the time and you'll never get bored with it. One of the biggest ways that I find time to read is I'm very blessed with a job where I'm able to read at work. Most of the time at work, I am sitting around waiting for a customer to walk in, waiting for the phone to ring. Um, so I have a lot of free time just sitting there and I get to sit and read. And I love to sit and read before bed. It helps me to wind down. I sit for about half an hour and read before bed. But I won't read like any mystery thrillers or anything because it'll get me all wound up. So I try to read something a little more calm <laughs> before bed. So I will often have a separate book that I'll read at work and I'll just leave that book at work in my desk to read the next day. And then I'll have a different book that I have at home that's more of a calm book and I'll read that one before bed. Another way that I get in some reading time is I have the Kindle app on my phone. And of course, you know, you carry your phone with you everywhere. So if I'm waiting in line or a friend is late or I'm just waiting for a rehearsal to start, when you're a musician, you spend a lot of time just waiting for a rehearsal to start. <laughs> or waiting for other musicians to get their act together <laughs> and tune their instruments and stuff before, you know, rehearsal really begins. So I might have five or 10 minutes or something while the sound technicians are doing a sound check or whatever it might be, and I sit and read for 10 minutes on my phone. Another great way that I get a lot of reading done is audiobooks. I love to knit and crochet, so I'll often put on an audiobook and then my hands are free and I can sit and do a little knitting. I also love to listen to audiobooks in the car if I'm gonna be uh, driving for a while. Usually if I'm driving somewhere and it's less than 15 minutes to get where I'm going, I won't turn on an audiobook. But if I know I'm gonna be in the car for half an hour or 45 minutes or an hour, I'll go ahead and just turn on that audiobook and get some good reading done. One of the things that really keeps me on track is the Goodreads challenge. Because if I start falling behind in my challenge, it'll tell me, you're two books behind. And then I go, oh no, I need to read. I will start reading like a maniac to catch up with my challenge. I also have a lot of reading goals. I will link my reading goals for this year, uh, that video down below and probably up here somewhere. Those reading goals really help me to stay on track and keep track of what books that I on my TBR that I really need to get read and what are some series that I really want to finish up. So I have in my mind all of these goals that I'm working towards, these projects, these reading projects that I'm trying to accomplish. And I love that wonderful sense of accomplishment when I get to check off my list. Ha ha, I read that one. Ha ha, I read that one. And I get this, I don't know, this little happy feeling of accomplishment. That definitely keeps me reading because I'm a person that loves to check things off the list. <laughs> And that kind of sums it up. Those are pretty much the ways that I find time to read, that I choose what to read, that I stay on track with my goals. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what are your like tips and tricks 
for how you keep track of your reading goals or how you find time to read or just how do you manage your reading. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.